Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to look on the application bridge between Das Studio and Hexagon. So let's load it model. And by the way, this is a Victoria 4. It's a free available on a Das website. I will provide link to this as well as the Das Studio application, which is also a nice application allows you to morph, modify and work with poses as well as the render the objects or models or your creations and that application as well for free available on a DAS website. So here we have our model and be sure this model is selected. Let's right now send this to hexagon so we can modify there and uh, we'll go to file and click send to hexagon. This will be launching um, applications as well I loaded this model that we send it inside the application for us to modify it. Okay, so here's a just finished loading. And on modification between bridge we have a few limitations. There's some of them no polygons or vertex may be added. And also, if a hexagon will change name, we need to rename back to original name. So here is our model. Let's click on the select faces. And maybe, you know what, realign. And what I want to do, I just want to add right here, maybe on a nose. So let's create some areas. Okay, we select this area. Let's just pull a little bit up. Maybe. There you go. Okay. And when you're done with this modification, be sure you just apply maybe to one area for now. We'll go to File. And we click on Send to Das Studio. What is will be? Now we have this Murph box pop up. Let's be sure that Create Murph is selected. Also, in the group path, uh, Morph hexagon bridge is selected and let's name this maybe um, Pinocchio. Let's click accept it. Okay and right now it will be refreshing this model and updated all information that we was modified. Okay so now it's finished loading. Let's maybe come closer. And here's a change we applied to the face. So there you go. Also one thing if you notice right here under Murph hexagon bridge we have a new um, adjustments slide bar up here. And it's give it name what we give it before for this Murph. So we just add additional option. And by modifying this, you can see how we can change it. So we can actually totally remove it or make even bigger than before. So here's our morph point and we just created something new. So with hexagon bridge and with the uh, ability to send between those applications, you can add total customizations. You can modify the models in a way you want it. So they will be totally fit um, your visions for scenery or for your creativity. So let's, I want to show you some other stuff. Uh, before we do this, if you want to create additional point, you need to go again, export to the hexagon bridge, add additional morph and re-import again. So if you want to have a two morph points or three, it's you need kind of going back and forward with the assign the morph points every time. Okay, so let's delete this object. Now what I want to show you, it is, it's very nice when we're creating this model, but when you created uh, modeling, when you create your new model in hexagon, you can take actual from hexagon and using this bridge send back into the DAS. So let's go back here to our hexagon Okay, let me cancel this one, change. Let's delete it. 
one what I want to do let's load it uh, let's import object we created like flower okay and one thing before we send in if we send as like right now what will happen this object will load it every small piece will load it like its own object what we want to do we want to go to um, surface and weld everything together so it will become like just one object let's go call flower also before sand if you want it you can apply additional um, materials so we can go inside if you want it this is other materials still have it from the wiki but we can create new materials to this one so apply it okay when you're done modify we can apply different materials if you remember by using um, groups and also we can using the shadow domains for that okay let's go now file and we click send to the studio our model that we exported from the hexagon and it's become the prop we can use it as inside the DAS studio you can export materials or um, you can do assign materials to the DAS studio and between these two applications you have a very powerful tool because um, DAS studio give it very nice rendering options and with all a uh, big library of the models additional models that are available inside the DAS 3d and uh, additional modification you can do in a hexagon application we have very powerful combinations thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com